beach umbrellas transformed into deadly weapons. Tammy Peralt became the latest victim when the unthinkable happened. She was speared in the chest by a flying umbrella while enjoying a simple beach outing. The 63-year-old woman was with her husband and friends near Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, when a strong gust of wind sent the umbrella flying. Her friend screamed to duck, but it was too late for Tammy Peralt. The sharp end of the pole struck and impaled her. Her husband, Mike, is reeling. It was just a regular day with all our beach friends, and then this happened. Devastated, he wants beachgoers to be on alert. Keep your eyes open. It could have been a 10-year-old kid, and it just so happened that it was my wife. Friend Sherry White was there when it happened. I'll never forget it. Think about it every minute. Your life was just cut so short. It's just not fair. Sarah Schwarm Harn Murphy is with Beach Bub and specializes in umbrella safety. We want a, a flat surface okay. to just kind of smooth out and get that top fluffy sand off of it so we can dig a nice hole with our sand gopher. Right. She uses a tool called a sand gopher to twist and dig a hole about two feet deep. Right. To ensure safety, she says an anchor is essential. Kind of lift two sides to create a little bit of pocket. Okay. I'm going to lift this one and then I'm going to fill from this side. In this case, she fills a yellow flap attached to the pole with sand to keep the umbrella weighted. All important tips to avoid another senseless beach umbrella tragedy.